to install a key to light uh, patio door lock, how to key the light to the front door so that the keys match and adds a little bit of more functionality to a patio or a porch door. Here is the new lock that comes with these breakaway tabs. So now for this piece, this extends through the handle into the other side. And mine is these breakaway tabs, the proper distance for mine is at about four and a half. And so what I use is lock cutters for that. So here it goes. Right in between four and five. That's just what works out for my particular setup. And there we go. So I'm at four and a half, and that one's ready for install. Okay, so I'm going to rekey our patio door here. And this is a little easier if you have this special spindle removal tool. I don't have one, so you can pretty much use anything, a cylinder removal tool or something, um, something pointy, you know, whatever you come up with to get it done. But all you're doing is pushing that little springed button down and spinning the back off. Now you want to be real careful not to lose the little spring that's in here. Okay, there's the little pin, and then here comes the little spring. There's the little spring. Okay. Um, on the other side, we're going to use the key, the existing key, and just rotate it 90 degrees. Then we're going to take the follower, and we're going to line up the flat portion of the follower with the top of the cylinder and we're going to push out the existing cylinder and key using the follower to keep the top keys in. Next we can dump out our existing pins and we'll change to the key that we're going to be using. For me that's going to be this key right here. Okay, so what we can do is measure the key with our legend here. This one's for a west lock, this one's for a quick set, this one's a slage, this one's a wiser. But um, anyway, mine's a quick set. So I'm just going to measure that, and it's going to be six, six, five, and so on. You can see how you slide it into the last point where it slides no more, and that's how you get your number. Okay, so I'm just going to write down my numbers. And then you'll use the cylinder to prove that your numbers line up. And if they don't, you may need to adjust the pins accordingly. And this one seems a little short, so I may try a different pin the next step up and see if that's better or worse.
I mean, it's hard to tell. Well, I'm going to go, I think, with what I measured. And we'll just test it out. Okay, so now you're going to want to put your top pins or your pins at an angle to your top pins or 90 degrees from your top pins and push the follower back out. And I'm running into a little bit of problem in that my first pin is too tall. So I'm going to go the next number down. Try it that way. And it looks like the next pin the same. Okay. And it looks like that last pin is also not, um, is just hitting up. So, try the next one. And hopefully, again, want to make sure that that flat portion of the follower is lined up. And there we go. Everything rotates nice and easy. That's good. Okay. Next, we've got our spring and our little. Oop. You gotta watch out for this spring. It can be a little tricky. Drop the spring in there, and here's the pin, the top pin. That. Next, we've got our assembly here, and we slide it over and twist it on. Now you may reach a point at which you need to push the little button down again. And this we don't want it too tight, just tight enough to do the job. And we need the little pin to pop through. Being a little stubborn here. There it is. Okay, now what I have to do is press that little pin down to be able to tighten it. So I'll press it down and tighten it up. Just take a little working with it. Well, you don't want it to be too tight, just just tight enough. That looks pretty good there. I lost the pin.
Okay, so now I got that ready. We're all set here. And you can see no other key will make this work. We're ready to insert it in our deal. And just like it was last time, it's going to go straight up and down. And we're going to rotate it that way. That way it can work with our key entry. And here we're going to insert this through line it up into the back of this deal that's going to turn this portion. lined up. There we go. Not too tight, just tight enough. good there. And then we'll test it out with the key. Oops. Well, we have a little bit of a problem in that our key deal is not centered. So we need to loosen it up and center that up a little bit. So we'll just undo the screws a little. screws down. And we'll test the key. That's working good. Test the latch. That's working good. And we're all set there. So that's putting on a keyed entry here. Sometimes you gotta close the door a little bit to open it if it builds up a little tension on there. That's all that is. And to work that out a little bit, we can also loosen this up a tiny bit, scoot it over a tiny bit, the whole handle as far as we can here. Just to make it a little bit better. Okay. And now we can test it out with the key. There it is, locked. And unlock it. There we go. Door lock, all set, good to go. 
That's how to add a keyed entry to the patio door. Good to go.